The federal trial of Daniel Baker beginning today. He's the man you see here accused of inciting violence at the Florida Capitol in January ahead of President Biden's inauguration. Cameras not allowed in federal court, so you're getting an exclusive inside look from a sketch artist today on day one of trial. Capitol City correspondent Monica Casey is in the courtroom for us. Monica, fill us in. What happened today? Well, the government argued in opening statements that Daniel Baker's social media posts constitute a true threat, and he had the ability, the means, and the intent to carry it out. The defense says during this trial, they will prove that Daniel Baker is not a violent felon. Now, the government called four separate witnesses today. The first, FBI agent Nicholas Marty. He testified about multiple social media posts from Baker, including what was obtained from search warrants to Google, Facebook, and Instagram. Marty also testified about outgoing text messages found on Baker's phone, including one describing the quote encirclement strategy for protesters at the Florida Capitol. The government also shared a Vice News video in court today. In that video, Baker is interviewed about fighting ISIS in Syria as a member of the YPG. Another video the government used as evidence today, a clip of the printing of the call to arms flyer. It's that flyer and the Facebook event that the government says constitute true threats. The defense argues Baker's social media posts, including those two, are just not what they seem. Now, testimony from three other witnesses lasted just under an hour today. Another FBI agent who interviewed Baker while he was in Syria testified and two TSA agents who pulled Baker over in security in early 2020 in Tampa also testified. I'll have more on what they had to say over at WCTV.TV. Live at the federal courthouse, Monica Casey, WCTV Eyewitness News. Okay, Monica, yeah, that trial expected to continue for at least two more days. Thank you.